Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmom8.wordpress.com. I have been seeing a lot of clean with me videos out there recently. And while I would never be able to do a video like that because I just don't have the patience that I think that it would take to set up the camera from all the angles to, to show you cleaning. But one thing that I've been thinking about is that I always have so many questions from people about how I plan because you guys know that I like to do everything simple. I like to keep things relaxed. So today, what I'm going to share with you is how I plan and I'm going to have you do it with me. So this is going to be a plan a homeschool week with me. And, you know, usually I save the Patreon shout outs for the end of my videos, but since I know that I'm going to forget because my video is actually going to be of me planning out next week's homeschool week, I'm going to do my shout out now. I would like to give a shout out to my Patreon patron, Tammy. Thank you so much for supporting me. You have been doing this for months now. I really appreciate it. And you don't know what it means to actually have, you know, that kind of backing and just that knowledge that people are behind the things that you do. And I just want to say thank you so much. So anyway, let's get on with the planning. Okay, let's get started with this planning. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor to do my planning and this is usually where I do my planning is right on the living room floor. So the planning that I'm actually going to be showing you in this video is for all of my kids who are ages um, six through 13. They all do the bulk of their work together except for the three R's that you see written at the top of my book. And I should point out that all I use for a planner is just a composition book from the dollar store. I don't use a fancy planner because I get really overwhelmed by them. So now I usually do not have the, th the three R's um, tasks that we do written at the top of my book. I have those there purely for your benefit today to show that are three R's that get done, um, most of these get done every single day, and these are the things that get done separately after we have done all of our other work together. It's spelling, grammar, drills, math, and silent reading. Now, spelling gets done every single day. Grammar gets done if our unit study activity does not cover language arts. They do math drills every day. Math usually gets done every day. The only time that it does not is, again, if we are doing unit study activities that include math and silent reading gets done every single day. So next week, we're actually going to be starting a unit study on detectives in the CONUS character curriculum. So what the first thing you're going to notice is that I do not put dates. I put D1, meaning day one, because that way if something happens and I have to change things around, I get less stressed out about changing what day it is rather than a complete date. It's a quirk of mine probably, but it helps me. So anyway, so for day one, every single day we do Bible and read aloud. And I don't write down like what chapter we do for our read aloud or what chapter we do in our Bibles because I'm one of those terrible people that actually turns the page down. And I know that irks a lot of people, but I can't help it. I lose bookmarks all the time. I always turn the pages down, but it also helps me to not have to write the things down as well. So now what I'm going to do next is I am going to look in the unit study for two activities that we can do on Monday. So now usually the very first day of the week that we usually will do copy work and we use the Bible verse that comes with the unit study. Um, they always include some pertinent Bible verses that have to do with it. And that is usually what we use for our unit study. So we are going to be doing copy work and it's Matthew 7, 7. So all I'm going to write down here is copy work. And I'm not even going to write down that it's Matthew 7, 7, because I'm, I'm going to know to come back here because I'm going to usually, I usually copy it right out of here, right out of there. Anyway, sorry, I just stuck my hand in the camera. Um, I usually copy it right out of here. Sometimes I take it out of my Bible though, but anyway, we're doing copy work and I put a slash just to show that we're going to do another activity. And now here you'll see that they have vocabulary words. I don't usually use them though, because we do spelling. 
Now, a lot of times if we need any books for the unit study, I will write them at the top where I wrote these things. Or if we need like any art supplies or anything like that, I just write them at the top. Um, see, like right up here, I don't need brown roll paper. And that was for this week. Um, now, this time I actually don't need to write any books up there because yesterday I already ordered all of the books that I need from the library. So those are already taken care of. So I'm just going to flip through and I'm going to go right to the activities and I'm going to just scan through and I'm going to find ones that I think that my kids would find interesting and things that I think that would really help them to learn about the topic. And you can't do all of the activities in unit studies because you would be stuck on the same topic forever if you did that. Pick the ones that you know that your kids would really enjoy. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to start with what does detective mean? Look up detect in the dictionary because we always have a glossary for every um, unit study. And I usually do like to start our unit studies more lightly when we're starting a new one. Um, so what we're going to do is I will write down the number activity it is. So it's number two. And I'm just going to put down new glossary. And I'm going to write detect. And we'll probably also write detective in the glossary as well. But again, it's this is just a reference for me. Now, that's it for the unit study. Two activities. You know me. Relaxed homeschooling. I don't cram too much stuff in there. So since my kids are doing copy work and they're doing a glossary entry, we will not be doing grammar. Okay, because copy work and the glossary entries are both language arts. So what they are going to do for their silent reading is I'm just going to put SP for spelling. They're going to do their drills. They're going to do math. And they're going to do, I always put SR for silent reading. And my kids know what this is. And I, exactly what I wrote here is usually what I will write up on the whiteboard for my kids. Um, let me see, it's probably going to be a mess here, but hopefully you can see that there. Probably not because my whiteboard markers are drying out. But anyway, yeah, I usually do write it up there on the whiteboard for my kids. Um, and other than that, I, I don't write like the number up there for my kids. But anyway, that's it. We already have one day planned. If you notice, I don't write page numbers. I don't write chapters. My kids always know that we just do what comes next. Um, I used to write down chapters. I used to write down page numbers, like what page to start at, what page to finish at. And to me, there's no point if you know that you're just going to do what comes next. So that's what we do. So next is day two. And once again, I start with Bible and read aloud. And you know, sometimes I don't even write this part in my planner because I know that we do it. I don't really have to like plan this. I already know that it's there, but I'm going to put it there tonight. So I'm just going to scan through and see some more topics that I think my kids might like. Um, let's see. Write your own mystery story, a whodunit. Be sure to include a puzzling crime, clues, and a detective. Okay, this is something that I think my kids would enjoy, and it's something that would really go well in a notebook. So that's one thing that they're going to do. They're going to do number seven. And I'm just going to write down, write mystery story. Okay, and now I'm just going to put a slash and look for another one. Um, let's see. And as you can tell, like, I, I don't get shy about skipping activities that I don't think my kids will like, because if it isn't something that I think my kids will retain, I don't even bother with it. So anyway, I'm just scanning through and trying to find something that I think that they would like. Um, let's see. Okay, number 21. Why is a bloodhound a good detective? All right, so here we go again. And that was number 21. 
and I'm just going to write down bloodhound because before I start our homeschool day every day, I always sit and I read through this to make sure that I know what we're doing. And a lot of times I even keep it sitting open right next to where I do the read aloud at so that I can refer to it again. This is again, just so that I have an idea of what we're doing. So, um, again, they're covering language arts by writing a story. So there are three R's for that day will be spelling drills math and silent reading one thing that i should mention is that for grammar actually my six and eight year olds they do phonics or reading instead of grammar it's just that i always just write down grammar because i know that my older kids do grammar my younger kids do phonics or reading all right so moving on to day three um i almost forgot to write bible and read aloud again Sometimes I will just write R-A, which I think I'm going to do now. And here we go again, just scanning through again. Play hide and seek. You know what? Sometimes it's fun to get, you know, some physical activity into your homeschool. I think we're going to do that. We're going to play hide and seek that day. My kids will enjoy that. Although I think we might do this last because they're going to get wound up. Um, let's see, moving on. Let's see. Oh, I think this would be fun. A detective must have a good memory for detail. Can you answer these questions? What did little brother eat for breakfast? What did you eat for dinner last night? I think we're going to do that. And we'll say... I'm going to write down memory exercise. Okay, now on this day, we did not cover um, grammar or language arts, so they will be doing grammar or phonics, you know, in the case for my younger kids. Oops, I skipped drills. Get them all? Yep, okay. Day four already. See, this is going really fast. This is how fast, actually, it usually is even faster for me to plan my homeschool week because I'm usually not talking and stopping. So yeah, this is, this is not something that like takes me a really long time. And remember, you know, this is for six kids that I'm planning right now. Okay. So we're at 23. Um, actually, no, 26 was where we stopped. And I'm just going to start scanning through again. Hmm. A lot of this is about handwriting. These, these unit studies are so much fun. Um, another reason that I'm actually scanning through and not getting too many activities in this detective one is because we will be starting a Thanksgiving unit study um, because we're going to be taking our six week break then right before Thanksgiving. So I, this isn't like a, a unit study that I really want to draw out. So I'm only doing the ones that I absolutely know, you know, are going to keep my kids attention. Um, oops. A lot of this stuff like it says to people watch and everything and while it sounds fun like I don't want people to think that we're being creepy so that's why I'm not doing that but actually that that is something that my kids would probably like but I'm like leery about it especially because we're in a new town you know I don't want to look strange those weird homeschoolers so anyway um let's see so right here Learn how to look at a suspect without his noticing you. Instead of staring at him, take a quick glance. Um, all right, we'll, we'll do that. And I will call that, we'll do that at home though, <laughs> not with strangers. Um, and we will call, call that, let's see. Um, I'll just say glancing exercise. Again, this is just for my, my G's like way out there. It's just for my reference anyway. All right. Scanning through again. Um, this actually is, sounds fun. It says, 
to be undercover, a hidden agent, you may have to disguise yourself. And it's showing different ways to disguise, to disguise yourself, combing your hair in the opposite direction, wearing a wig, making your face paler, um, making wrinkle lines, making a lumpy face. And it says disguise your voice by holding certain facial expressions. So I think that my kids would enjoy doing something like that. So we're going to just, I'm going to write down disguise. And again, as you can see, this is this does not cover like language arts or math. So we're going to do the whole gamut of spelling, grammar, drills, math, and silent reading. Now, day five, actually, that would that will be Friday. Um, that is actually our grocery shopping day and grocery shopping day is usually just nature study day. So I am done with the unit study for now. Um, and yeah, my cover fell off of it now. It's so like worn anyway. So on our nature study days, now we still do Bible. And then I think what I'm going to do after Bible is Mad Libs. And then we're going to, I'm just going to write down nature study. A lot of times I just write NS for nature study. Now, this is always weather permitting. Um, if it rains or something, we will usually do something like, you know, like stay inside and watch the Who Was show or maybe Magic School Bus, maybe bake something. Um, we will also be baking that day, too. I should probably say baking because we're going to bake London's birthday cake because her birthday is Saturday. But my three oldest kids are coming over Friday for her cake because they have to work Saturday. So, yeah, so we're going to be making her cake that day. So we're going to be doing that as well. We'll just put it right in with our planner. But anyway, you know, that's that's it. And one thing that you might have noticed, I know this might bother some people, is that I don't like separate like language arts, math, science, history, um, health. Like I don't do all of that with unit studies. They are cross curricular. So let me just show you really quickly in here. If you notice, she has down what subject is covered for each activity. So when I am writing these down, I'm not really worried about that because I know that they are going to hit every single subject as we are doing the unit study. But as you can see, you know, we are covering a lot of the subject areas here, and this is only one week. We'll probably spend about two weeks, um, probably about two weeks on this unit study. And you know what? I'm not worried about it. We will get those subjects covered. Anyway, this is how I do my planning every single week. I didn't do really anything different to show you today other than just writing out some things that I don't usually write out. That's it. I'm not lying when I say that I keep everything simple. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one over on Instagram because YouTube always disables my comments. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in that description box as well. And I hope you have a great day.